How's it going guys? I'm Robert from Machado Visuals and here's a quick breakdown on a commercial I did for my local gym. We shot a series of interviews supplemented with B-roll and I'll leave a link to the original ad we produced along with the other videos we shot within the series in the description. For camera, we used two FS7s shooting an S-Log3. We used my Tokina Vista Primes and it was incredible having both cameras match seamlessly. This helped tremendously in post since I didn't have to tinker around with color or matching exposure. Everything just worked. I love the character that the Vista Primes give you. They have this dimensionality that I'm a huge fan of. The fall off is super pleasing and something you don't really see in a lot of lenses. Plus the fact that they're all T1.5 is pretty spectacular. They are pretty hefty though, given all those optics, but luckily I do have an easy rig so handheld work with these lenses aren't a sweat. Camp Rhino has these huge open spaces so I knew I'd have plenty of room to light with. Knowing this, I opted to use two different 8x frames as sort of a book light. We sent two Joker 800s into an 8x Ultra Bounce which reflected back into our second 8x frame which had bleached muslin. I chose bleached muslin because of its even spread and soft quality. We used two Joker 800s since bleach muslin is a little bit of a thicker diffusion and eats up a little bit of your output and to also spread out our coverage evenly into the Ultra Bounce. We also T-boned a black 8x solid to prevent our lights from spilling onto the background. To mitigate overhead spill on our subject, we added a foldable reflector above our talent to kill any excess shadows. We also brought in another bounce as our fill as needed. And to make life easier, I made sure all of our grip and lighting equipment were on rolling stands so that we could easily adjust lights if needed or move to a new setup. I've been using the Joker 800 a lot lately and I love how much punch they have. They're really easy to shape and have a pretty small footprint. Color fidelity is incredible, which I love about HMIs. They do get incredibly hot, but I usually only use them in bigger spaces with plenty of airflow, so that's usually not an issue. I'd love to compare it to the 300D Mark II when that releases later this year. After we shot our interviews, we moved on to B-roll and our lighting setups were pretty simple. I only really wanted to supplement what was already there, that way everything still felt natural and organic. I didn't want this to be dark and moody like you typically see in gym videos. We wanted this ad to give more of an inviting atmosphere rather than being contrasty and badass. I threw one of the jokers into the 8x with bleached muslin as our main key for more of a sighty source and threw the other joker into the 8x ultra bounce overhead as our ambient fill. I didn't want our overhead fill to come in too strong so I added a double and a single net to slow down some of the intensity. For our edge light, I used my Kino 4-Bank with Quasar LEDs dialed in to 5500 Kelvin. After our lighting was set up, we placed a bunch of extras in the middle of our set and had them go through various movements. A camera was on a 50mm while B camera was on the 85. This way we could knock out two birds with one stone and get two different shot sizes at the same time. After that, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Members worked out and we captured it. We did some tinkering here and there, but our setups mainly stayed the same. Shout out to all the homies that helped out on this one. It was a super fun shoot. I'll leave a link to the full series of videos we produced. I think they turned out pretty great. Filming at Camp Rhino is always a blast. As always, if you have any questions on this breakdown, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.